In this video, I'll show you how I made a crypto ticker with the Elecro 5.79 inch e-paper display. The UI is designed using the LVGL UI editor. You can find all the details on the Elecro product page. Sample codes are available on the wiki page. You can also find the OBP on my GitHub. All the links are in the description. If you'd like to see these displays integrated with Home Assistant, consider supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee to help me get a Home Assistant green. For this project, I used LVGL's official UI editor. I recommend visiting the official GitHub repository and reading the Getting Started Guide. Also, make sure to check out the video provided. The LVGL UI editor is XML based, unlike Squareline or EZ Studio. It supports runtime XML loading, interactive preview, Figma integration, and more. Check out the official site for details. Uh, download and install the LVGL UI editor, then create a new project. In project.xml, set the width and height of your board. If needed, set the radius as well. Uh, to create a screen, go to the screen folder and create a screen.xml file. Type an opening bracket, the editor will show autocomplete. Create a screen and then a view. This will generate and display the screen and its view. Then style the view using LVGL style properties. Inside the view, create an LVGL label widget. Another way is to create a component and reuse it in your screens. Check the official LVGL video for a better understanding. For a custom font, copy the font file to the fonts folder. Then open globals.xml and define the font in the fonts section. And then select the created font in the style property of the label. Do the same for images, copy them to the images folder, define them in globals.xml, and then use them in your components or screens. Using the same method, I created the UI for the crypto ticker. Basic label and image widgets are used to display the crypto prices. All the code is available in the description. Once everything looks good, generate the code. Make sure Docker is running, otherwise the code won't be generated. After generation, you can edit the code using the LVGL editor if needed.
Copy the LVGL project folder into your platform IO project folder. Then include the UI header file in main.cpp. In setup, initialize the UI, create a screen, and load the one generated using the LVGL editor. The code is mostly self explanatory. You can find all the links in the description. If you liked this video, consider supporting.